right hand corner is where it dips down. It's going to be. Luckily, I don't have to pay for tires. Burning the rubber off of them. But I remember what I was talking about before, uh, the Paystar. I was never a fan of the Paystar. My first playthrough, I bought the Paystar when I was over in Michigan and just had so many problems with it flipping over that I just wrote the Paystar off, or the Paystar off, and I just wouldn't get it anymore. And then watching Nathan uh, driving it and some other people driving it, uh, I realized that I rode it off way too soon. She's left hand corners, that's what's going on. Can't go faster. Right hands, I think I'll be okay, but the left hands, the trailer is leaning way too much. Uh, but anyway, in my other playthrough, I'm using the, uh, I'm using that a lot more, and it is a good truck. You just have to play it. Oh shit! I'm out of gas. But luckily, I have more trucks. I have. I got step over here. So let's jump in the step so that I don't have to unhook the trailers. And you can plenty of these. Enough to get me to the gas station. I wasn't even watching that. Yeah, and that's the thing, putting the dualies on it. I think when I uh, ran it, the dualies, I had not unlocked those yet. So, like I said, it, I tried to do a mission uh, to go over the drilling site on Island, on, not on Island Lake, but on the Smithville Dam, and flipped it over like three times. And I was like, hell with this truck, I'm not playing this truck anymore. And that was just wrong. Oh, shoot the co-op. Well, I don't want to take the co-op. Well, yeah. co-op's got gas. Forgot about that. I filled it up before we left. Oh, this is a heavy load for this truck. I've got highway gears. Yeah, and it's pulling the front wheels off the ground. Come on, get the wheels back over there. Yeah, this map is really fun. Um, I didn't know if I would like it. But it is a really good change from what we've been doing in SnowRunner. And I have really enjoyed this map. But I honestly think I would have enjoyed it a little bit more if I would have played it 
in regular mode and you're not going up instead of hard mode because hard mode really doesn't do anything hard because the fuel is still free uh, it's just made it inconvenient because I can't I can't fill up repair points so I'm ending up buying maintenance trailers and using up the repair points and I can't refill them and I'm also something bigger than you. You don't have enough enough guts. So what I'd like to do where is oh it's over on the other map. And you're the one that is so that's what my goal is there I use the uh, 47x and I was pulling a construction rig trailer going down this hill and got going too fast and just lost it and it is way over in there so that's why I need to get the collab all right so transtor I've got the Got my buddy here. He's close by. Anybody can pull it. This one can. And you have the offer gearbox and a high saddle. I've really only got one more hill, one more big hill to go up. The rest is flat or downhill. Anyway, yeah, you can't uh, refill the repair points. So I'm also having to, like the add-ons for the scout vehicles, if I use repair points out of those, then I have to sell the add-on and rebuy it. So, uh, so this is actually four maps. So this is your starting map. So Bennington is the one you start on, and then you got uh, Manchester, which is I think that one is the. map yeah so Manchester is half snow and half regular and then Manchester runs into the ice road which the ice road is just that you've got very little road and the gateways over here and you've got a garage and stuff over here and then the rest of it is ice um, with a few other little roads speckled in here. So you've got a lot of stuff to do over here, including one of the things we've got to do is get this um, Arctic cat out. So, but then uh, the other map is Rutland, and Rutland is a desert map. So you've got uh, airport, and you've got all your stuff down here, which I still have to go over here and. Um, see what's over in there I haven't went over there yet but then you've got all this desert area here so you've got sand that you can get hung up in and yeah and then a quarry over here which this is where the other uh, where the cat is that I can get by doing a mission 
and this is the other collab that I can get but I have to pull them out of here and take them to was it here I may have to take them to the garage here or I've got to take them to a different map so a lot of this stuff on here is a lot of driving from one map to another to deliver your load and I like that and some of them are uh, it's not just one trip I mean, there was one that took me five trips to make and there's another one that requires like uh, 40 cellulose so that'll be a five tripper so there's plenty to do on these maps again oh shoot the roads are slick as snot it's like you're driving on ice and I have to try chain tires they don't help some of the issue. So if it doesn't succeed this way, then sometimes you can get into this truck, hook up to the that one, and get a little more grip because I could change settings on this one. Trailer's not oh I may have that one landing leg. Might be stuck over there. There we go. But this was all due to me losing the grip on the front. You over here, out of the way, and then that's your Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. But I have noticed that with some of these trucks pulling a heavy weight, the front tires will come off the ground. And like I said, these roads are slick anyway. And it will just throw you one way or the other. Nope. Alright, we'll need the Western Star. Help me get up that hill. Once we get up that hill, it should be alright. And I can right next to the fuel station. And those tires have come all the way off the back. Pain in the butt to get back on its wheels. So see, even in hard mode, fuel doesn't cost anything. Yeah, 
Yeah, the collab's giving me issues now. It's off to the side. Alright, uh, so we will probably lose it here in a second. Dude, why are we going backwards? And we'll see if we can lead with this one. Yeah, this uh, region gives you a lot of interesting challenges. And most of it is stuff that I've created myself. But it is fun. Yep, I think we're glitching out with co-op. So what I may have to do is just take it all the way off and just pull it the rest of the way. Because there is nowhere around here that I can do it. And you can see every time I go past it, it glitches a little bit more. So when I unpack it, it will probably fall off. And there it goes. So let's just get you up here out of the way. Too much weight for a small truck. It's not a small truck, but too much weight for this particular. Alright, let's jump back over here to Western Star. Hopefully it's not too bad. What I'll have to do is try to pull the front end around. Kind of hoping to pull the front end around a little bit to where it's going downhill, and then maybe I can flip it. All right, let's try getting that on the bottom. What I may end up having to do is try to turn the back end around. It moved it, bumped it a little bit, but not enough. So let's try to get the back end turned around. The problem with that is we're down in this area. And it might be even easier just flip it all the way over.
we'll see. Flipping it over is going to be an option. Um, so let's try something else. Like oh, covert. start. That is the main problem with the co-op. It's so freaking heavy. So we can pull it back in this way. Maybe I can just roll it all the way over. Here. All right, next step, heavy crane. I have one of those in the garage. Yeah, definitely didn't uh, didn't promise damage-free towing, just that I would get it there. Yeah, go for it. Or send my Tosh Crunch. That sounds good. Oh, it was on the ice again. The four on grad might have an easier time with this, but I don't want to go over and get it. What else I have in here? Nobody that can help. This rate, I'm going to go through all my money, but luckily I'd already bought this crap. I don't know if this crane has enough gumption to get that thing turned over. Kryptonio, welcome to the chat. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, the Voron's made for off-road environments, but I do have the heavy winch on the Vora, uh, Voron. And it has been doing really good on this map. It doesn't slide around like some of the other the other uh, trucks. Yeah, to reflip. Yeah, the, we'll try the heavy crane and see if I can do it with that because I I can't use the. Uh, other heavy crane for the Russian trucks because it just does not have enough ass. Alright. Better anchors. And I'm on an angle. But. Yeah.
I'm gonna need to go back some more. See if the crane has enough. Okay, that is the levels we're going to get in this area. So. Come on, crane. Um, okay. All right, let's... Hmm. Maybe, since I can't do it not going to be able to pick it up. Maybe it can spin it around. That was the original plan. Get you flipped over. No, we're going that. Uh, but maybe I can pull the back end around this way. Which will mean extending the crane out further. If that crane will reach, I don't know if it'll reach. Nope, I'm going to get closer. Which means I'll put the front end over. back out. Ah, oh, come on. You were close enough, you should be able to reach that. Alright, I should be attaching to that. I had some issues with the crane the other day. It would not attach to stuff. you're giving it to me. So 
So maybe it's just, well, it shouldn't be relative to the truck. Distance wise. Okay. Now uh, let's drop it down. Oh, please. Well put. And you're not going to start all your nope. But we have the step around here. We also have the cat. So the cat has a heavy crane, or has, has a heavy winch. Turn away from it, uh, connect back winch from far away, reverse, and get slack, and get it going for a second. Yeah, uh, I did try that earlier, and the cola was just so freaking heavy that it was just stopping me dead in my tracks and not moving it. Kolob is just way too heavy. And what I want to see is if I can put it up against this tree here, if I can reach it. Because the heavy winch, if I can get that stationary there. abandoned car. Yes, he will almost pull it around. Uh, let's try up next to it, see if we can pull it back. It's just the grass is like all the mud, I can't get really good traction. Because if I can get that back end pulled around, then it'll flip over. Oh, your wife changed her mind. You're going to do ice cream instead. Nope. Okay. 
just does not have enough power. Can't get enough grip. Let's try here. Sometimes you can get more towing power if you go to the side of the truck rather than the back of it. Should we get that one out of the way? Alright, all else fails. Yeah, we're going to try something different. The right way doesn't work. So let's see if we can just bump it. I'm wondering if maybe the truck glitched out a little bit. That seems to be working there. I think we have a plan here. Kick it around a couple more times. get the sucker heading downhill and we'll be able to get it flipped over. First I need to get that truck out. use a heavy winch and a tree. Gas pumps. We do not need a fire. And we see the guy moved his car after I ran into him. That was a smart thing to do. Because I have no CTL. Alright, and let's turn this around. Because it seems like the winches have more power. Pull from the back. We are going to have to get quick. I do not want it flipping back the other way. If I can get it to flip at all. See, that was easy. Ah. 
this thing flips over again, I'm leaving it and I'm going to go get the other one. Alright, let's get you delivered. Only took me three game days to do this. But it will be well worth it. Come on. Well, this truck started this mission, and it will finish the mission. We'll just be without a trailer. So I think when we go get the other Kolob and the Big Cat, that we're just going to forego the trailers and just pull them out. because there'd be no way to load them down in the uh, core area onto that big trailer. It doesn't have ramps. But I've only been down there one time. It may have an area where I can back a trailer down into. Yeah, if I go, uh, when I go over to get those, I am taking the Kolob with me. With the biggest winch I can possibly get on it. See, I like doing things like that. You mess up, you got to figure out a way to do it. Figure out a way to unmess up yourself, which is what I'm doing with the uh, construction rig trailer uh, that I drove over the side of the mountain. I have to figure out a way to get it out, and uh, that is what I'm going to use to get it out. Hopefully, it may not work. But we will see. And I figure it has the stock winch in it. So I may need to go and get the bigger winch. Yeah, it's all about the fun. I've watched too many people play the game and get in a hard situation and just leave it or just recover to the garage. And half of the fun of this game is figuring out how to do stuff and getting yourself out of trouble. The other half is getting in trouble. Pushing. 
and I'll hit the gas station on the way back. Ooh, and you know something else? I've got a high saddle on here. And over here at the port, I have a, another trailer that requires a high saddle that I've got to pull out. So I may just do that. Yeah, I was talking to a guy uh, today at the auto parts store, and he's got a couple of friends, and they play snow on it. And he said that they like the game, but they don't play it that much because it's in co-op. There's just so many issues on the Xbox. Uh, that they're half time, they're getting disconnected and. The missions aren't working right, and I would like to see some of that fixed. Um, they've made a lot of money on this game. And you would think that they would hire good people that could fix some of these problems. Because it is a popular game. But we're losing people left and right on it because they're just getting aggravated because of you know, glitches and things like that that should have been fixed. I mean, the game's been out for two years. Yeah, two years. All right. We now have. Two more trucks. And what I can do now is back that one off, put it back on, and I'll haul them both to the garage. But this is the other truck. I'm not sure where it goes. I will look that up later. And we'll get that. Shoot. Back under it. I think I've never driven a truck before. Yep. It will fit. Alright. Next. Where is my collab? And where do I need to take you? Of course, the other side of the map. Actually, it's not that far. Um, it's so close that... Because right there is where I've got to go. I'm near the garage anyway, so I believe... What I will do is get the collab to the garage. Put the biggest winch on it I can. And then, in the next episode... We will go after the other mess up that I did and try to fix that. So if any, uh, if anybody hasn't seen what I did, we'll just jump over and take a look at it. Eh, where'd you go? Oh, you're way up there. Come on. So the 1430. So, this is where I'm sitting with the 1430. Yeah, it's kind of stuck. And the trailer is landlocked there. So, what I'm going to have to do is pull it up out of here. And then continue on down the road. Because, again, I was coming down the mountain there. And looked over at chat and got going too fast. And it just took a nosedive in here. The front end started sliding and then the whole truck just slid over and the trailer followed it. And I brought a scout up here. And there are way too many trees to try to take it down through there. And it gets 
uh, really tippy. If you look straight above the cab, I thought about going that way. Uh, and that's not an option uh, because that is mud. And that will get me stuck real fast. So what we'll do in the next episode, we'll get the collab up here. See if we can pull that out and get this delivered. And then come over here and get this big thing, get it delivered. I'll have the Dan set up. And we will see what else we can get into. And I'll uh, get some other missions set up. So, yeah, we'll see what we can do. And we may even go after the other collab. Because I would like to have two collabs. I would sell one and buy some more trucks and try some of the other trucks that we haven't tried yet on this map and then try to get uh, as much of this done as I can on this map and we'll move over and just keep doing each individual map until we get them done all right so again thank you very much appreciate you coming in and appreciate the first time uh, into the channel for uh, Cryptonial, and uh, if you are still in here, uh, you, if you want to catch up on any of these episodes, you can always go to the YouTube channel. It is the same as the Twitch, Alien Pirate, and I do a lot of different stuff on there. So if you're into some other games, you can see some of that, and I'm going to be doing some uh, Space Engineers. I have a scenario set up for the Xbox, and I'm going to try that and see how that works, and we still got to get back into finish some of the stuff in our the long dark so uh, work is slowing down so hopefully I can get some of that stuff here real soon and don't forget to check out uh, Nathan Province in province here on Twitch and Nathan Province on YouTube and district B13 underscore you uh, you think I get in trouble uh, check out what district can do so thank you mr. general thanks for stopping by and I will see you on the next episode so until then, have a good one.